Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, line segment uh, CD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, AD is uh, 10 units. The angle uh, CAD is uh, 30 degrees and the angle uh, ACD is 15 degrees. And furthermore, this perpendicular BC is being represented by lowercase h. And now our task is to find the value of this height h. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this triangle ACD. We know our angles are 30 degrees and 15 degrees in this triangle. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see our exterior angle is being represented by C, whereas our opposite uh, interior angles are uh, a and B such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus uh, angle B and here in our case uh, this angle uh, BDC is going to be our exterior angle and that angle is going to be the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles if we add these uh, two angles 30 degrees plus 15 degrees is going to give us uh, 45 degrees as our exterior angle. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle DBC. We know this angle is our uh, 90 degree angle. This angle is 45 degrees. And we know the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 45 uh, degrees. Now we can see in this uh, triangle DBC, this angle is 45 degrees uh, and this angle is 45 degrees as well. Therefore, we conclude that this is our isosceles triangle. In other words, uh, this uh, side uh, BC is going to be equal to this side uh, BD. And we know this uh, BC length uh, is being represented by lowercase h. So therefore, uh, this uh, BD length uh, is going to be lowercase h as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side uh, AB is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths uh, h plus uh, 10. So therefore, this uh, AB length turns out to be h plus uh, 10. And now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Tangent of theta is always equal to opposite divided by adjacent. And in our case, our angle theta is uh, 30 degrees. And our uh, this uh, AB is the adjacent. And this side uh, BC is uh, our opposite side. So therefore, we can write uh, tangent uh, of uh, 30 degrees is going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, lowercase h. So I'm going to write uh, lowercase h divided by our adjacent is lowercase h plus 10. So I'm going to write down lowercase h uh, plus uh, 10. And now we know that tangent of 30 degrees is 1 divided by square root of 3. So therefore, I'm going to replace this tangent of 30 degrees with 1 divided by square root of 3 over here. So therefore, our equation is going to become 1 divided by square root of 3 is going to be equal to lowercase h divided by h plus 10. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, I can write uh, square root of 3 times uh, h is going to be equal to 1 times this whole thing. That is going to give us h plus uh, 10. 
and now I'm going to move this uh, lowercase h uh, on the other side so therefore we can write square root of 3 times h minus h is going to be equal to 10 and now we can see h is in common between both of these terms so therefore I can write uh, h times square root of 3 minus 1 is going to be equal to 10 and now we are going to divide both sides by square root of 3 minus 1 to isolate h we can see this cancels out so therefore our lowercase h value is going to be 10 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 so thus our lowercase h value turns out to be 10 divided by square root of 3 minus 1 and now we are going to rationalize the, this denominator so therefore we are going to multiply and divide uh, with the conjugate of square root of 3 minus 1 so the conjugate is going to be square root of 3 plus uh, 1 and I'm going to divide by square root of 3 plus 1 as well and now we are going to multiply the numerators and likewise we are going to multiply the denominators as well and now let's focus on these uh, denominators and here I have copied them down and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b times a plus b is always equal to a square minus b square in other words uh, the product of the difference and the sum is equal to the difference of uh, their squares and we are going to apply this identity over here and here we can see this is our uh, a this is our b this is our a and this is our b as well so therefore uh, if we apply this identity this is going to become square root of 3 whole uh, square minus uh, 1 square and now we can see the square of square root of 3 is simply 3 and 1 square is simply 1 so therefore we are going to get 3 minus 1 is going to be equal to 2 so therefore uh, this uh, denominator when we simplify this turns out to be equal to simply 2 so therefore we can write this one as uh, lowercase h equals to 10 times uh, square root of uh, 3 plus 1 and divided by 2 and here we can see 2 and 10 uh, reduces to simply so therefore we conclude uh, that our lowercase h uh, height value turns out to be 5 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3 plus 1 units and that could also be written as approximately equal to 13.66 units uh, as well so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our h value turns out to be 5 times square root of 3 plus 1 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 13.66 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye